What up? This is Shad. Shout out Amoeba Records. I'm here to talk about some music that's influenced me. I picked out five pieces of vinyl for my little collection here. I mean, there's only one of him and there's three of them. So this goes like the Migos. Whoa. I'm going to start with Common Resurrection. Yes, yes, y'all. If you don't stop to the beat, y'all. If you don't stop. Yes, yes, y'all. If you don't stop. You act, yo. We got to be the short shot. Very important influence on me, probably my biggest influence on my style as a as an MC. He taught me more or less everything I know about how to approach the craft. You know, with first of all joy and and uh, and and passion and a spark. He always had that in his music. To me, I, I always heard the excitement about just getting to rhyme and getting to entertain people, um, but also a depth. Obviously, Common is known for that, for um, looking out at the world and, and commenting on what's going on, but also, you know, reflecting a lot introspectively and uh, having a lot to say and a lot of spiritual depth to his music. So I owe a lot to Common as an as artist and as a person. Uh, on that note, a Tribe Called Quest. One of the you know, main branches in hip hop, maybe in, in popular music, so many people have taken what they've done and, um, and taken inspiration from that and built upon it. I bought this uh, Midnight Marauders on cassette actually when I was a little kid. I was intrigued by the sound of a war tour and later learned um, about this thing called sampling that creates that sound and uh, life changing like it has been for so many people in and out of hip hop. Uh, as a Canadian artist, I want to talk about some Canadian music. Um, I have a lot of Canadian music in my collection. This is John K. Sampson, Winter Wheat. Don't delay your day short. We can't afford to wait. John K. Sampson, people might know him from his time in the group of oh, the Weaker Thans or, his, or in the group Propagandy. Um, also, as a solo artist, incredible poet, um, socially conscious, um, but also very sensitive and um, honest. Represents uh, his his region, his part of Central Canada. Well, tells his own story, but also the story I feel like of his people. So I'm deeply inspired by him, by his approach, by everything he represents. Here's brand new uh, Tika. I keep on falling sideways, rhythm holding me. If we just keep on dancing, freedom take me. New artist based in Montreal from Toronto, composer, songwriter, singer soulful in the true sense of the term to me in that her music is is deep deeply personal healing comforting rich music in terms of genre i'm not even sure what to say it's it's pop it's soul it's it's a lot of things electronic yeah um what else can i say here i'll pull this out why not another classic isaac hayes hot butter soul Walk On By is on there, which to me is just like the peak of popular music. It's cinematic, it's also gritty and funky. When I think of the best hip hop, it, to, to me, my favorite hip hop contains all those elements too. It's, it's like maximalist in some ways, but also, and beautiful, but also, you know, gritty and, and real. So Isaac Hayes' Hot Buttered Soul to me is, is, a, is a blueprint. Um, in that way. So that's it. That's five. That's me. I'm Shad. Thank you, Amoeba Records. Peace. To my brother, like that brother Curry of the Jersey with number 30.